So welcome to the fifth JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use if statements and what if statements do is they allow us to like make decisions in our program so we can decide whether two things are equal, whether one thing is greater than another or um, smaller than another we can do all sorts of things so basically it's making our programs more dynamic so for this what we're going to do is we're going to test to see where the two variables have the same value. So we do, oh, that made no sense whatsoever. So we do var, and then we're just going to create one, then var, and two. And we're going to give these both values. These are both going to be integers, by the way. So let's do 55 for this one, and 55 for this one. Oh, wrong button. And then underneath this, what we're going to do is we're going to create our if statement. So for this we're doing if, the if function, then brackets, and then in here what we're going to do is 1 is equal to 2. Now, uh, two things that we've got to remember. Firstly, we cannot use just 1 equal. 1 equal sign is setting a new value, so we're basically giving it the demand to change its value. But double equals is basically reading a value so this is writing a value and this is reading a value that's one thing you really need to remember that's the same in a lot of programming languages so we need double equals there then we're going to do curly brackets or whatever they're actually called and then just do open curly bracket leave some space and closing curly bracket and inside here is going to be the code that will be executed if this is true so since 1 and 2 are identical this will be true so we're going to document dot write brackets semicolon and then we're going to put they are equal save it and let's by the way you still need to do um, semicolons even though these are inside of an if statement but this line here does not have a semicolon and there was this one here save it run it launch a chrome and it's coming from my other screen, they are equal. So what if these are not the same? So save that, run that. You see, nothing has happened. We haven't told it to do anything if they're not the same. So that's what we're going to do now. Directly underneath that statement, what we're going to do is else, curly brackets, so the same as before. So if it's not equal to this, and it's anything else, then do this. And here we're going to document dot write brackets semicolon they are different. Save that, run it, launch in Chrome, and it comes up saying they are different because obviously they're different. But if we make them the same, launch in Chrome, they are equal. So we could do this at any random numbers like this number. Obviously this is just going to be the same, so if we run that, Chrome, they are equal still. So you can also do things like, um, let's do 10 and 5. So if 1 is less than 2, obviously these are not the actual numbers by the way, these are just the names of the variables. If 1 is less than 2, then it's going to say they are, let's just do the first number is less than the second this is just for like aesthetics here making it look nice as our application although it doesn't really look nice it's nothing fancy is greater than the second so greater or equal to the second so run this, launching Chrome. The first number is greater or equal to the second. So the first number here is greater because it's bigger than the second, which is five. So what about if we set these both to be exactly the same? Now if we were to run this in Chrome, first number is greater or equal to the second. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.